Hello, dear ones. It's Hannah. I've been feeling lately like life is going double time or maybe even triple time sometimes. And are you guys feeling that too? Because it is crazy how fast things are going some of these days. And sometimes I feel like it's a little hard to keep up. And so I've been thinking a lot about the power of being in the present. And I've been hearing a lot about the power of being in the present because they say that that is where all of our power exists, is in the present moment. And so many of us spend so much time thinking about the past and the future and other things going on in other parts of the world and times and places. And what actually exists in each of our realities is what's around us right now in the present. What is my experience of this day right now? So I sort of wanted to just take a moment to bring our focus back to the now and remind us each that this is where our power is. And, you know, our bodies, I'm sure you've heard, our bodies respond to whatever we're thinking about. So if we're living in the past and reliving things that have happened, experiences, traumas, interactions, and whatnot, um, or likewise for the future, our body is responding as though those things are happening now in the present. And even on some energetic level, we're living in that space as though they're still happening or are happening right now in the present. And so think about what you're paying attention to and giving your focus to um, because that is directly influencing your current reality. Um, and helping you manifest whatever your reality is. So the more you can focus on things that uplift you and make you feel good, and the more you can focus on the things you're grateful for, the better off you'll be, and not only you, but probably the whole world around you, because we all manifest all of it. Um, so there are just a couple of things that I wanted to mention um, to help us. I've noticed, like, when I, I've been a stay-at-home mom primarily for the last many years and the list of stuff to do is very long sometimes and I've been noticing recently I've just been trying to play around with it a little bit that when I like focus on one task at a time and um, just do that even if I have a huge laundry list of things to do when I'm not thinking about all the things I have to do and like thinking ahead of myself but just focused time seems to really expand out again and I'm like in the moment, I have enough time to get everything done and to feel like I'm not rushing to get it done. And so it's worth trying. Um, another thing I was thinking about is recently, well, probably earlier this year, I saw a little video of a Buddhist monk talking about meditation. And he, he was saying that it's tricky sometimes for people to think about meditating because they're like, oh, I don't have time or... I, I just never am able to get it when I try. And he said that our minds like to run off. That's what they, our egoic mind just runs off and thinks about everything. And it's tricky. And so he said the trick is to tell your monkey mind, give it a task. And so he said, okay, monkey mind, focus on your breath and just make your breath the thing that you focus on. And he said, even if you just do a single breath, or a single breath a few times a day. That's enough. You know, maybe you'll want to sit for five or ten or more minutes as well, but if you make a, a regular practice of just being present and focusing on the breath, like that beautiful breath in, what does it feel like in your body and your being to just focus on your breath? Um, and then that beautiful, like, pause at the, at the in-breath and then take that beautiful breath out and what does that feel like so sometimes all of that that's all you need to do um and then remember you can also make anything that you love to do a meditation <laughs> hey you puppy um you can make drinking a cup of coffee or tea and just being present with that like feel how wonderful that feels in your body to just enjoy that sacred time and space with yourself um, and you, <laughs> my dog dash, um, and you can take like five minutes to go for a walk and enjoy that time and space or sit down and actually just focus on being present. And I think that that, um, will bring back your, your power in the now and 
just enjoy and appreciate the things around you that are going beautifully and well. And I think that if we all do that, it will make us feel so much better. So in case that's helpful, I'm putting it out there today because it's what's been coming up for me a lot recently. So I send you all so much love and light wherever you are. If you enjoyed this or any of my videos, then please subscribe to them. And I hope you have a very beautiful day. Take care.